What's up guys, Jason here, back at it again with another video. And for today's video, we will be unboxing the Realme X3 Super Zoom. Okay, so from the name itself, Super Zoom, this is probably Realme's camera-centric smartphone. And here in the Philippines, Realme is known for budget mid-range smartphones. And this time it's different. Realme released a flagship, the Realme X3 Super Zoom. As with most, actually, I think all Realme smartphones, we have here the yellow box. At the back, it says it has a Snapdragon 855 Plus, 120Hz ultra smooth display, 64 megapixels AI quad camera with 60x super zoom, and 32 megapixels plus 8 megapixels dual in display camera. The variant I have here is the 12 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of internal storage, and I got it in the Arctic White colorway. There are actually two colorways, the other one is called the Glacier Blue. And why the white one you ask? Well, you'll just have to watch the video. As always, we have here the smaller box. Inside, we have the important Realme information guide, which nobody actually reads. Come on, let's face it. And the jelly case, which has a nice smoky color to it. Underneath the phone, we have the 30 watt flash charger, a USB type C cable, and of course, Mary's favorite, the SIM tool. Now, unfortunately, we don't have earphones included inside the box. But what we have is this one. This is the Realme Buds Air Neo, Realme's newest addition to the true wireless earphones. Actually, this Realme Buds Air Neo is cheaper than the Realme Buds Air. The only difference that they have is this doesn't have wireless charging unlike the Buds Air. And also, it charges via micro USB cable. Now, it's kind of disappointing because it's micro USB, but I kind of get it because it's for cutting costs. And this product costs 1,990 pesos, which is actually not bad, especially Especially if you're looking for truly wireless earphones for cheap. Anyway, I'm actually giving away this Realme Airbuds Neo. So for the mechanics, just wait until the end of the video. Now this is the phone itself. Again, I got it in the Arctic White colorway. I know it kind of looks familiar. It actually looks like the Realme XT from months back. So what's so special about the Realme X3? This specific colorway actually has a soft matte finish. The soft matte finish on the back feels magical. It feels soft and velvety to the touch and doesn't attract any fingerprints. But do take note, it is kind of slippery. And it has curved edges all around to ensure a comfortable grip. And another thing that is noticeable in the Realme X3 Super Zoom, you have here the periscopic telephoto lens. And as with most Realme smartphones, it has a gold ring accent. But it's a square, not a Realme ring. But again, they did this to make the periscopic lens stand out more. Realme had me fooled for a second to think that this was made out of aluminum. And the frame is actually made out of plastic. This is probably done to cut costs. But do take note I don't know the price yet since they would be revealing it on July 9 so watch out for that and as with most flagship devices the back is actually made out of glass for the quad camera setup, you have a 64 megapixel f1.8 Samsung GW1 main sensor, an 8 megapixel f3.4 periscopic telephoto lens, an 8 megapixel f2.3 ultra wide camera, and a 2 megapixel f2.4 macro lens. Honestly, I don't get why the Realme X3 Super Zoom has a macro lens. I think they just put it there to increase the numbers of the camera. Anyway, moving on, at the right we have the power button which doubles as the fingerprint scanner. At the left we have the volume rocker, at the top we have a secondary noise cancelling microphone, and at the bottom we have the SIM tray which actually does not have the dedicated micro SD card slot. So this phone doesn't have expandable storage. The microphone, a USB type C port, and the single firing bottom speaker. For the display we have a 6.6 .6 inch full HD plus IPS LCD panel with 120 hertz of screen refresh rate and is protected by Corning's Gorilla Glass 5. For the display, it actually fooled me into thinking that this was AMOLED and that is how good Realme's display actually is. The panel is really vibrant, bright, and has high contrast. It is only when looking at a completely black image side by side next to an AMOLED phone that you'll see that this is actually an LCD panel. The blacks isn't as dark and inky as the AMOLEDs but for an LCD panel, it is really dark. The Realme X3 Super Zoom is fitted with Realme's own UI, Realme UI. And I really like this UI because this is pretty similar to Oxygen OS and stock Android. Realme UI feels snappy and fluid thanks to the high refresh rate. And I'll be testing this further with games too so keep an eye out for the full review coming soon. Now aside from the 120Hz screen refresh rate to make this phone snappy, it also has to do with its processor. Under the hood of the Realme X3 Super Zoom is the Snapdragon 855 Plus Octa-Core processor with an Adreno 640 GPU. And again, it has 12 gigs of RAM and 
That's a lot of RAM. We all know that the Snapdragon 855 Plus is Qualcomm's high-end chipset from last year and is currently the fastest non-5G SoC for Android phones out there. Realme also claims that this phone can push out the highest Antutu score compared to any other smartphone with the same chip. And yes, the 855 Plus delivers performance really well. And during gaming on this phone, I didn't experience any of the heating problems. For me, the Realme X3's performance is a notch below than the current flagship phones out there. But it is significantly ahead of the upper mid-range smartphones. Now, let's talk about the Realme X3 Super Zoom selling point. Well, coming from the name itself, the Realme X3 Super Zoom gets its name from, you've guessed it, the telephoto camera. It is a periscope lens that gives you 5 times optical zoom and up to 60 times hybrid zoom. Okay, so as you can see, the periscope telephoto lens is the highest mounted module on the back of the Realme X3 Super Zoom. It has an 8 megapixel resolution with an aperture of f3.4 and is actually stabilized. The main camera is a Samsung GW164 megapixel that captures 16 megapixel images by default using pixel binning technology. For the ultrawide lens, it houses yet another 8 megapixel sensor. And there is the 2 megapixel macro lens with an aperture of f2.4. The next clip will show you some sample pictures that I took using the Realme X3 Super Zoom. Photos turned out really good. It captured a lot of fine detail and processed it in a very natural manner so it doesn't have an artificial look. And I know this is not enough, so don't worry, because I will be more in-depth with my full review coming up in the next few weeks. For the battery, we have a 4200mAh capacity and is charged by a 30 watt fast charger, which should charge your device for more or less an hour. And the battery gave me around 1-2 to two days of light to moderate use which is actually not bad. And for my early verdict, this might be one of the best bang for your buck smartphones I've seen yet. There's fast charging, a long lasting battery, a great display with a high refresh rate of 120Hz, and of course the powerful internals which is the Snapdragon 855 Plus paired with 12 gigs of RAM. Although I'm not a fan of the dual punch hole cutout, but it didn't bother me that this smartphone has a plastic frame and lacks 5G. So there you have it for my unboxing and first impressions of the Realme X3 Super Zoom. And I can't wait to find out how much this smartphone costs. If you have any guesses, leave them down below. Now for the giveaway of the Realme Buds Air Neo. I'll be randomly choosing the winner from the comment section down below. All you need to do is follow me on Instagram and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to put your IG handle so I can contact you. And there you have it. Again, it's me, Jason. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.